Adams told me. He's Chief Sprite. There's a lot of us Sprites, he said. Spread over Lancashire. Air Sprites, Water Sprites, Marlequin like mad. <laughs> you are now listening to this record. It's a very special record. I'll tell you the story behind it after I've introduced myself. I'm a cell according to Alan. Everything I know is told to me by Alan. And Alan said I were one at Sprites at there. A boggart. A striker. With airborne. And without a body. No substance. Only a voice. A ceaseless voice. But whatever I am, there must be more than one of me. So I can't see anyone. And I can't see Alan. There's just a faint ginger shape occasionally. That must be Alan, I presume. I can't feel the contour in darkness. Hot dark redness. It's more of a deep red gloom everywhere. All around me. And all I know about myself is from what Alan's told me. He's Chief Sprite. There's a lot of us sprites, he said. Spread over Lancashire. Air sprites, water sprites, marlequin like mad. Don't work at the evil one. Satan, that is. We've been here for centuries, and I've been all over. Until recently, I were inside a pair of Puma trainers hanging on a telephone wire over a bus stop on Day 666 near Darwin. Alan told me this. I were hanging off at land, my voice merging with the leading busy bumbling bosom telephone wire above me. I were damned to carry on whining inside shoes, haunted trainers. That's what Alan told me. Positively possessing pendulous Puma pumps, Alan. And I told myself stories to keep me going. I were never silent. I would have liked to be silent, but I couldn't be silent. So I told stories Alan had told me. I don't know any others. To keep me going as I were hanging there in those rotten old trainers. Stinking to high heaven they were. Though I couldn't smell them. Suffering Jesus, they would have stunk if I could have smelled them. And it were a great view I had up there, apparently. Or it would have been if I could have seen it. A view over Pendle Hill in Lancashire. Chosen places, Pendle. And rest at last. Past Northern England that's touched by evil. It's all over the shop, so Alan informed me. Lancashire were always thought of to be one of the dark corners of land. A superstitious place. Witches and popery. But they're not stupid. Lancastrians. It's not that. They're just used to weirdness. And they still believe in Satan. Dark Lord. They don't support him. But they believe in him. And no wonder. He's chosen to base his business operations in their land. Their rose red land. Dear God. It all makes sense once that thing's a bit of... Devil's branded and marketing strategy involves associating himself with colour red, colour and magic, and Lancashire is Red Rose County. Red Rose that were garlanded around gardens of Babylon and one at big football teams in Lancs who play in red, even call themselves Red Devils. And if it's numbers they want, their 666 highway runs right through county up to Pendle. So they can't get more obvious than that. If they want satanic associations, satanic with a capital S. And what's more, there was something else. Valleys around Pendle. Yes, where a few at local witches were caught a few years ago. That's where old Grand were kicked off. So much other witches got together for a bit of revenge and merry mischief. They were known for merriment, like witches, and they put a spell on the small-scale weaving industry in those valleys. And their spell meant small industry gradually transformed into great satanic cotton mills at the Industrial Revolution. Thought at fearful, fiery furnace of the industrial world, all grew out of those Lancashire valleys, triggered by work at witches, working for the devil himself, dark one himself, capital D, capital O, capital D, were a weaver as well, you know, full so down to him, turned up well through global warming and ecological catastrophe caused by mass consumption and industrial expansion. It's all part of his plan, his extreme ex certificate exercise, disaster movie stuff, brewed up in some cauldrons in Pendle. That's why Merck's and Angles first thinkers of global capitalism. That's why they were in Manchester a while back. They needed to be at beating out at bubonic barbarous beast to predict how it would evolve. Pet parts is a become that beast would be defeated by its own contradictions. It's a nice thought. Can't see it myself. It's not part of plan anyway. That's what Alan tells me. Plan about scrapped. Dark Lord, capital D, capital L. The world domination through global industrial capitalism. It all started off with those cotton weaving wily witches in Lancashire. Then the mills arrived which got bigger and bigger. Mills needed cheaper and cheaper cotton. So the African slave trade was built up through Lancashire port of Liverpool by Liverpool merchants to provide cheap labour to pick cotton in America. That were all Satan's idea. And cotton mill workers in Lancashire themselves were practically chained to their large looming looms. Small children worked in a hell of children were getting in large children were working in a hell of a children were working in a hell of a children were workers showed support for Lincoln's American civil war forces trying to abolish slave trade in the US. Forces that were blockading, slaving south. Even though their blockade had led to a shortage of cotton, the 
sort that out no problem chart success alt rest music world is under big s's thumb always has been selling soul the devil's music and all that jazz and mick once tried to work with reggae producer lee stratchberry he asked lee to produce one of his records because jamaican dub music is a threat to dark forces capital d and f alan told me this as well there's something about dippy dubby drops in deep dub mixes moments when all instruments drop out into an abyss of silence with snare shots echoing across the void these moments suck up evil like a black hole